Hello, welcome to Yemi's Kitchen, where authentic African flavor, authentic African cuisine, authentic African food meets all American ingredients. Today, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, instruction on how to make plantain. And my son has asked me to make plantain for his breakfast, and I'm just going to quickly make the plantain for him. So this is plantain is in the uh, family of banana, but it's not banana, it's bigger than banana. It's, it's from West Africa, the Spanish origin people eat it, people from South America, the people from Jamaica, they eat it either green or yellow. The West Africans love it. We use it to, it's either a main meal or we use it with other meal. It's a side dish. You've seen it in so many of my videos. So this is the plantains. And I'm going to wash it first, then cut it, then fry it. So let's start with the washing. Okay, you just need to wash, wash with soap and water. Because you don't know who has touched it, and don't forget coronavirus. Look at it. I have this right in my kitchen. Okay, back to dry. You don't want it wet. We are cutting it. And this is how we, this is how we do it. Cut the end, cut the end, okay, open it up, different ways to open it up, but this is how my mother taught me, open it up, it's either you get your chopping board, you put it on a white plate like this, safety, 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 watch your hand when you're using the knives, okay, I cut it diagonally like this. You can do this circle. For viewers at home, put this on the chopping board. I'm used to doing this, I'm used to doing this. So it makes it really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'll show you how to do the other type. Small soy, I like to eat this with rice or plantain or uh, with beans. So that I take one spoon and one, one spoon, one plantain. So you can cut it like this, okay? Or you can cut it if you want. You can cut like fries, American fries. Be careful, it's very slippery. So you can cut like that, just to give it. Depending on how you like it. It's just a very quick meal. You can eat it with fried eggs, beans, rice. So I'm just showing different ways to cut this out. Okay. So I cut it this way. Okay, so look at the three different ways you can cut it. A circle, diagonal, cut, which is a common one. Okay, and a circle. So it's optional if you want to put salt or not. If you want it salty and savory, you put salt. If you don't want it, um, if you want it sweet, just leave it alone. It has natural sucrose by itself. For the purpose of the people doing it for the first time, you take your oil. I normally, when I burn my oil, I put it in my own container to make it look pretty. So you put it in your frying pan and put it on your line and you fry it in it. But, but for a faster one, I have the oil that I used yesterday to fry my, um, my potato and I'm going to use that. So in my fryer, I know. I don't want to use the oil. So we're gonna just put it in the oil. It's a fast one. I don't like salt in mine. I like it sweet. So I have used this oil before. 
make my fries for my children yesterday, you can use clean oil. Just put your oil in your frying pan, like so. You know, like so, and fry it in it. But I don't want to do that because I have oil already and I don't feel like cleaning up. So I do that for like five minutes, then I bring you back and I show you how it comes. When it turns brown, it's done. See, it's, it's, it's almost five or six minutes, six minutes into it, it's golden brown, but I like it to be more browner. So I'm more brown or more cooked. So I'm gonna give it like three more minutes, then I'll show you, you know, what it look like. Dodo three ways. Here is my finished product for Dodo three ways. Enjoy.